Ba! This is my collection of clusters and taillights. I happen to hoard E30 parts, as some of you may expect. But what we're working on today are the taillights. Now, uh, recently I saw a post and a guy took some regular taillights and then some lenses that he bought off eBay and made uh, replica StarTex. So that's my idea today. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need lens tint, stained glass paint, two colors, yellow and red, some epoxy, and then we just need some Sharpies. Now, this is the actual supplies, but we're also gonna have to have the tail lights and something to split the tail lights and clean it all up. But I'll show you splitting the tail lights and we'll come back to this and we can uh, talk about how we're gonna do the actual process. So after the tail lights are split, we have uh, some of this leftover plastic. Now the older style, this is the early model, they split apart super easily like you saw. You basically hit them with a hammer and they cracked to bits. The later style I've tried to do before, it does not work. They are a nightmare. You pretty much have to destroy several sets to get one good set. But here we go, we have our old tail lights, and then we come down and I have my lenses. Now I've already tinted these lenses, but I got these off eBay and you can get them pretty, pretty cheaply. I think they're about 120 bucks. And you just spray a light coat on the red lenses, a light coat of this lens tint on the red tinted lenses, and you get something that's starting to look like this. Now if you guys know anything about StarTex, you know that they're outrageously expensive and this is already looking pretty damn good. So the idea is going to be we're going to color match the inside of the housings and then bond this actual new lens onto it and then we'll have replica StarTex. With these uh, shiny sections out, basically you're gonna take your stained glass and we're gonna paint the three middle sections. So We're gonna leave those for quite a bit longer with just a light coat. Actually pretty impressed with how they've come out. The yellows look great as well. This is actually a good product for this specific thing because it, it's clear but tinted, so it gives you the actual shimmer, 
that they're supposed to have from reflectors. Assemble the sections, basically like that. Those are just held in with these tabs. Okay, I tried to use the Gorilla Glue epoxy and it just did not go well. Maybe my fault, maybe not, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to use this single part Gorilla Glue right here instead of the two part epoxy. I think that'll help. which I think looks pretty damn good. I mean, as far as replica homemade taillights go, I'm actually super impressed with how these look. Now, unfortunately, I went and like cracked the other housing, trying to clamp it with these clamps. I can show you a video of how I had that set up. But I learned my lesson on this one and all I did was put the weight over it to keep it nice and consistent rather than warping it and I didn't crack it on this one. I just made a nice smooth bond all the way around. And then there's some fingerprints on here. I'm just gonna buff those out probably maybe throw a clear coat on here, but I don't know that it needs it. I, I am actually super happy with this. But let's show you next to an original tail light. All right, guys. Here is an OEM tail light next to the StarTech. If you guys can't tell, it is a massive difference. And I think that looks sick. Now, if you don't know what, what the original StarTex look like are, whatever, if you don't know anything about them, they were an aftermarket tail light made many, many years ago that are now super desirable and super rare. So a set of them probably cost about $900. A set, well, a set in this condition. You can get them in varying condition for varying prices. But this lens, the setup for the lenses was about 120, and then the other sprays and glues and stuff was probably about 50 bucks. So you're looking at somewhere around $200 to have your own set of StarTex. And they're pretty damn convincing as far as 
the way they look. I'll do some close-up shots so you guys can see. Huge improvement over that factory tail light. But that's all I got for you guys today. The only edit I'll make is this Gorilla Glue instead of the epoxy. Big difference. The epoxy was a mess to apply. This just went on and I was able to liberally apply it and then just bond it and everything is, is good now, good and cured. So, I hope you guys like this. I hope you find it useful. I am waiting on another lens before I can do my my passenger side, but this is my driver's side completed. I think they look super sharp. And uh, maybe I'll see more of you guys running the style. I think, I think so, I think so. I think people have really been looking for an option that does not break the bank on getting rid of these ugly, ugly taillights. By the way, this is just a uh, early model. The late model is an entirely different ball game. It's much more difficult, but for now, I'm, th I'm thankful that I'm running an early model. I think that, that this will be a great addition, especially when it's done being painted. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more, uh, for more good E30 content. I've been putting in some work on it, trying to get it running and everything. So remember to like, share, subscribe. Peace. I, 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 I